seems like he retreated. Oh, there he is, right there. Right there. Yep. Welcome to Ed Cycles. I'm your host, Ed. Joining me today is my good buddy and co-worker, Lorenza. Hey. So Lorenza has been a big fan of mine, uh, watching all my videos as I make them, giving me good feedback. So uh, after yeah. I do each one, he says, hey, let me know when you're going to do the Van Fleet Trail. Mm -hmm. And no, not the Cross, Cross Seminole Trail, not the Seminole Kaiba, not the West Orange. Always. Let me know when you're on the Van Fleet Trail. So yeah, why is that? What's uh, about the Van Fleet Trail? Well, you know, it's a uh, it's a long, straight trail right through the Green Swamp. And I just, I'm pretty good at riding by myself, but riding unsupported all the way through here when I've never been before is just a, feels like a bad idea. So so it's thanks. for the backup, not not that you're tired of, you know, trails with bends and great yeah. changes. Well, that too, you know, just slight turns of the handlebar is all we're going to need today. <laughs> The easiest access to this trail is from Interstate 4, about midway between Tampa and Orlando. The trail runs in a north-south direction and has a total length of 29.2 miles. There are four trail heads spaced equidistant apart, about 10 miles between each. So we're starting today at the south end of the Van Fleet Trail at Polk City. To access the Polk City Trailhead from Tampa, take Interstate 4, exit 38, go about 6 miles north on State Road 33, turn left onto Route 655. The trailhead is located at 7683 Berkeley Road, Polk City, Florida. To access the trailhead from Orlando, take Interstate 4, exit 44, go north on Route 559, and then left on State Road 33, and then right onto Route 655. This trailhead has a large unpaved parking lot, it also has picnic shelters, and it does have restrooms. However, the restrooms are located a half a mile north along the trail. There is a water fountain located right at the very start of the Van Fleet Trail. Across from the water fountain is this bulletin board with information about the trail. It's a beautiful day here in, in Central Florida in April, and we're going to get going. The sun's shining, and it's a great day for a bike ride. All right. Great day for a bike ride. Here we go. This first section of the trail goes from the Polk City Trailhead to the Green Pond Road Trailhead and is about 10 miles in length. As mentioned earlier, the restroom for this trailhead is located about a half a mile north along the trail. Is that right, Lorenza? Mile right, marker, 0.5. Thank you. Every now and then along the trail, there's these observation platforms, which gives you a little peek beyond the tree line on either side of the trail, see what the surrounding area looks like. The namesake of this trail, General James A. Van Fleet, was a combat commander who served in World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. The recipient of three Distinguished Service Crosses, three Silver Stars, three Bronze Stars, and three Purple Hearts. He was born in New Jersey, but grew up near Polk City. After his service, Van Fleet lived until his death near Polk City and is buried in Arlington National Cemetery. <laughs> All right, prepare yourselves to turn the handlebars, everyone. This bend is the only turn on the entire Van Fleet Trail, and it is about a 20 degree deflection. The Van Fleet State Trail passes through three Florida counties, Polk County at the south, then Lake County and Sumter County at the north. Polk County is the fourth largest county in Florida with over 2,000 square miles of area, including both land and water. Largest cities include Lakeland, Winter Haven, and Lake Wales. Population was over 725,000 according to the 2020 census. 
Multiple locations throughout the trail have these bicycle repair first aid stations here with a bicycle air pump and the trail phone number. Yeah. Check for walks, you got mud walks right there, so. Trail phone number up there. Yep. Polk County was named for U.S. President James Polk. One of the earliest Florida tourist attractions was Cypress Gardens, which is located in Polk County. Now is the site of Legoland, Florida. The public supermarket chain is based in Lakeland, and the citrus producer Florida's Natural is also based in Polk County. Citrus cattle, agriculture, and phosphate are the leading industries for the local Polk County economy. The Green Pond Road Trailhead has plenty of free parking, a picnic pavilion with grill, and restrooms. This trailhead is available by vehicle from Green Pond Road, just west of State Road 33. We go. Is that the bathroom right there? Yeah. I'm gonna grab some water. Okay. The central segment of the Van Fleet Trail goes from Green Pond Road Trailhead at mile 9.9 .9 to the Bay Lake Trailhead at mile 20. All good, Lorenza? So far, so good. It was nice actually being away from the heat island effect. Much of the Van Fleet Trail passes through the Green Swamp Conservation Area. The Green Swamp contains the headwaters for the Withlacoochee, Hillsborough, Ochlawaha, and Peace Rivers. Over 300 species of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish live in this area. 110,000 acres are managed as the Green Swamp Wilderness Preserve, but a total of 560,000 are within the Green Swamp region. Lake County was formed in 1887 from portions of Sumter and Orange counties. As the name implies, this county contains many lakes. Population was 384,000 as of the 2020 census. The largest city is Claremont. Lake County contains the highest point in peninsular Florida, which is named Sugarloaf Mountain. At 312 feet above sea level, it is a popular destination for cyclists in Florida. Could be a future subject of an Ed Cycles video. Hmm. Another bicycle repair station. Morning. Morning. How you doing? The Bay Lake Trailhead is located at mile 20. It has plenty of free parking, a picnic shelter, and unisex restroom. 
This trailhead is located at 7500 Bay Lake Road, Groveland, Florida, and is accessible by vehicle from South Bay Lake Road, about 10 miles south of State Road 50 in Mascot. The northernmost section of this trail goes from Bay Lake Trailhead at mile 20 up to the Mabel Trailhead at mile 29.2. Cyclists going the other way told us about a gator right next to the trail just ahead of us. Yeah. Seems like he retreated. Oh, there he is right there. Right there. Yep. The Van Fleet Trail is built within an abandoned railroad corridor, as are many of the trails in this area. In the 1920s, Seaboard Airline Railroad built the railway on this route. The word airline in the name referred to a common use of the term at that time, meaning the shortest distance between two points, as in having no obstructions, like a line drawn through the air. The section of rail where the Van Fleet Trail is now was the rail section between Wildwood in Miami it was used regularly by a train named the Orange Blossom Special. Yes, as referenced in that famous bluegrass song. This was an all Pullman, December through April only, luxury train carrying passengers in style between the Northeast United States and Florida. Its first run was in late 1925. The final run of the Orange Blossom Special was in April of 1953. In 1967, the Seaboard Airline Railroad merged with the Atlantic Coastline Railroad to form the Seaboard Coastline Railroad. Later, it became part of CSX. This route was abandoned by 1990. There's the county line. There it is. Sumter Lake. The northernmost part of this trail is in Sumter County. With a total area of 580 square miles, the population was close to 130,000 as of the 2020 census. Sumter County has the oldest median age of any U.S. county, likely because of the very large senior community of the villages located within Sumter County. Named for General Thomas Sumter, a general in the Revolutionary War, Sumter remains a mostly rural county and is known to have a large population of wild hogs, which are often sighted on the Van Fleet Trail. This trail is 12 feet wide and is open 8 a.m. to sunset year-round. There is also an equestrian trail that parallels the paved trail for the entire length. A GPX file for this ride is available on Ride with GPS. Select Routes from the drop-down menu, then do a search on Ed Cycles Van Fleet Trail. There it is. There's your last slash first restroom. And Mabel. The Mabel Trailhead marks the north end of the trail at mile 29.2. It has usual parking, a picnic pavilion with a grill, and restrooms. Oh, come on, you gotta go all the way to the end. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>
Thank you to Lorenza for riding along with me on the Van Fleet Trail. Well, now we're at the north end of the Van Fleet Trail. What'd you think, Lorenza? Very straight. Very straight, <laughs> yeah. But it's a nice trail. Surprisingly nice for what it is, rail trail. Through this section of the Green Swamp. Happy to have it. Yeah, me too. Well, so. wherever you're at, enjoy the trails in Florida especially. It's a great day for a bike ride. Have a good one.